Hi all, this is Master Muncher and welcome to another battle. Oh, sorry. <coughs> uh. Hi all, this is Master Muncher and welcome to another 1v1 battle episode to the channel. And in this matchup, we're fighting with our Hodeleros, our sword and shield unit, the best sword and shield unit we can recruit. 120 soldiers, 18 morale, 17 melee attack, 7 melee defense, 11 charge bonus, and 10 armor with rapid advance, no other abilities. Very good offensive infantry unit that can dish out a good, solid amount of damage. Has proven to be an incredibly strong unit, not elite in my books, but could be very well considered elite because it can really destroy almost every single infantry unit that we have come across. And today, we are having a proper challenge of infantry against the other clan, the superior Shigara clan of Shogun 2 Total War, and we are fighting against their unique unit, unit sorry, the other Nage Yari Ashigaru. Essentially, the Yari Ashigaru with longer pikes, essentially having pikes, 200 of them. So these are not samurai, but their superior numbers and their defensive stance is incredibly powerful and mighty. 200 soldiers, 6 morale, 4 melee attack, 20 melee defense, only 1 charge bonus of this, 30 bonus versus our cavalry and 3 armor with the Yari wall. So let's see if they will stay in their defensive position whilst we charge them. But, uh, uh, but uh, from the testing that we've done, it's, it seems that the troops unupgraded usually break the formation in charge. But regardless, their superior numbers, which is 80 soldiers more than our Hodeleros, will pay some part. And they will, d after charging, put their pikes down and start fighting us, I believe. So our soldiers slowly walking towards them. Let's just wait for them to get a bit closer. They should really stay defensively, but and they are in defensive stance. I put them in defensive. We are the attacking force, but there you go. So let's charge and see what happens. Oh. Huh, this guy went very far. Okay, oh, they're all fighting with their swords, so they will lose unless they start trying to get something down. Nope, they didn't put their spears down, so you don't want to fight sword to sword against Hodeleros, guys. They did manage to kill 20 of us, but we killed uh, around 80. <laughs> So this is what happened when the AI doesn't use the pike wall pr properly or the Yari wall and then our swords get to them. So let's see if fully upgraded these Yari soldiers and this officer will know what to do <laughs> in a better way. See you guys in a little bit. Hi all, welcome to the second fight. This time the Orda Nage Yari Ashigaru are fully upgraded. 14 morale now, 8 melee attack and 28 melee defense. Now let's see if fully upgraded they will use their Yari wall to their advantage because if you try to fight swords against their proper sword infantry as the Hodeleros which are still unupgraded you will lose it's rock paper scissors kind of thing with spear losing against sword sword losing against cavalry spear winning against cavalry archer doing well against infantry and cavalry destroying archers so that's how kind of like things go so if they don't utilize it properly it's, it's their own fault, it's their officer's fault. This guy needs to do better, because look at this defense information. They have 80 soldiers more than we do. So if they just stay tight, everything will be all right. But I have an inkling that they will press forward like idiots. But that's just the AI being derpy. There's nothing we can do about that. So let's see how this goes. We're getting very close. So we just, we will, start charging them and we'll put rapid events just to see them like running a bit cartoonish if things go wrong it seems that they're hurling will they charge or will they really uh almost all right uh, but they're putting them down are they fighting with the pikes or the swords seems that they're fighting with swords it will not go well for them then even fully upgraded or how the letters will slice them up uh, man, just just use your pikes. I mean, actually, they are using the pikes now. Ooh, let's see what will happen. Yeah, 
Yeah, they are killed. They're starting to kill us. They're holding. See? They stay in the formation. The front lines might use swords, but then more and more you'll start using the, the spears. But even though we are killing it more than they have. They only kill 30, we kill 70 of them. But they still have 40 soldiers kind of advantage over us. So let's see if that will be enough. Using this matchups regularly, the Portuguese kind of like 1v1 have bigger regiments. So it's interesting to see the number advantage going to the Japanese or the traditional Shogun 2 clans. Hmm. We are, we should win. It's, it, it looks like we're catching up with any members. Or officer dies though, that would be a bit problematic for our morale. Because we are an upgraded, even though we have 18 morale, they have, yeah, have better. It makes sense. We're professional soldiers, these guys aren't men quickly and hastily prepared for battle and war. And as I say that, they break. So there you have it, guys. Because they didn't utilize their abilities properly, the Rodeleros have two decisive victories over the unique unit of the Oda clan, the Oda Nagae Yari Ashigaru. So there you have it, guys. Sword beats Spear, if Spear doesn't use their <laughs> abilities correctly. So thank you very much for watching this 1v1. Hope you all enjoyed, and see you guys next time.